Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be re recreating the spaghettification effect from Loki Season 2. You may notice that this is not, in fact, Max, but his sister. Max is feeling a bit under the weather, so I'm reading a script while he does the After Effects stuff. Alright, let's get into it. First, make sure you have your video keyed out or rotoscope. Duplicate it, pick one to start on, and hide the other. Then, go to the point in the timeline where you'd like to begin turning into noodles. Click Effects, Simulation, CC Scatterized, and apply it. So to create a keyframe and then scatter for zero, move forward about a second and set it to 15 or so. Do the reverse for opacity so it fades to zero at the same time. It should look like this. Unhide the other layer and trim it to start when you begin to disintegrate. Apply the CC hair effect and mess with the settings. Try setting the weight to zero at the beginning, making a keyframe, and setting it to a negative number at the end to make the noodles rise a bit. Keyframe the length at zero for the start of your transition, then set it to an appropriate number for your scene at the end. For the noodles to take on the color of your subject, you need to set color inheritance to 100%. You can also mess with the lighting to make it match your scene. Now the lines are growing out from your subject, it's time to duplicate them. Press Command D on the Mac or Control D on the PC and select your new layer. Change the density a little so that they aren't exactly the same. Change the thickness as well. Duplicate it once more, set the color to red, and turn down the color inheritance somewhat. This will add a little bit of internal color and a little more depth to the translation. Once you have these three layers, keyframe them to fade out at different times to make it more natural. Now you should have your character turning into spaghetti. Optionally, to improve the transition, you can grab a dark smoke asset from production crate and set it in between the layers with a low opacity. Once you have this all set up, make a new composition, drag in your first one. Find a background, ours is from Loki, and apply camera lens blur for some depth of field. For our shot, we keyframed a fake zoom to make it look like we're pushing the camera through and past the noodles. We had these sparks, also from Production Crate, which we tinted to match the subject's clothes and skin. Here's the finished effect. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Also, if you'd like visual effects applied to your video, you can check out the ME Studios Fiverr page, linked in the description.